head coach of North Georgia, Mike Davenport, players of Logan Sinkfield, Mariah Wicker. North Georgia defeated Grand Valley Game 1, the championship series in 7th and 3. This afternoon, coach, if you can begin with an opening series. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, you know, very proud of the kids for uh, playing all seven innings, and uh, that's what it's going to take at this level, at this time of year with two teams left, uh, fighting for a national championship. It's it's going to take all seven innings, and it may take more, and I'm um, just proud of them. We got down 2-0 in the first, and a un couple uncharacteristic mistakes, and but that's that's the nature of the beast. That's softball for you. And um, But for us to answer, they've had the big hit in the first inning to answer and tie it up. We just kept, kind of kept hanging around. Tybee absolutely grinded, um, was getting touched up a little bit there the first, second inning, then set, really settled in. Very proud of her for that. Able to pass the ball off to Sophie, and Sophie obviously got the, the big double play ball in the, uh, in the sixth inning to kind of settle us in a little bit. And um, it just handed over to these two offensively, and a good thing started to happen. Devin Tupka, Nighthawk Sports Network in North Georgia Vanguard. And I'm going to open this up to you, all three of you guys. Um, this is a best of three series. And so with you guys taking game one, you guys are one win away from bringing North Georgia their second national uh, title. How, how, does it, how does that feel for you guys right now? Well, I think, um, you know, it's the three-game series is something we've done all year. You, you, you do it in conference play, and then uh, you do it in regionals, and then super regionals. So we're accustomed to that. We know uh, Grand Valley's an uh, extremely talented team. They're not going away. Uh, so we have to w go out and win a game tomorrow. Um, but it does uh, feel good to, to have the first one under the belt and, and to be in the win column for sure. I think we enjoy this one tonight, and then we come ready to play tomorrow knowing what's at stake. I think that we're prepared anyway. We've been preparing all year for this from the beginning. So I think that we'll be okay. And I have another question for you guys too. And I, I interviewed you a month ago and we talked about how when you guys went out to Denver last year, that brought a lot of good experience. What did you learn from last year's postseason that you're taking into this year and saying, this is what we did last year and then uh, applying it kind of to this year, kind of fixing things around. Right? Yeah, and kind of what I said before, going back two years ago, we lost five really important pieces to our program uh, through graduation. And then last year, for us to be able to get to Denver and compete, win two ball games and get to the Final Four, um, was huge for this group and um, you know they probably arrived a little bit quicker than we thought they would but the last 30 40 days of last season they really improved and, and they were a national uh, championship contender back then and for this year it just they've settled in and most of the players that are that are on the field for us the top 10 12 players right now they've been there so um, I think that that plays a big part of it they're they're very focused on you know what it takes and um, this is a great stage to do it on um, if as an athlete, you have to have some nerves, um, but they've been there, so I think that plays into it for, for their favor. Uh, so there's something about this team and two out rallies. We've seen a lot of success from you guys this season, putting up two runs on the board. Um, putting up runs on the board with two outs. What do you think has been the main reason uh, for that this season? Not just in today's game, but we've seen all season long. Um, I think having each other's backs. We know that if one person can't get it done or at least moves the runner 60 feet, then, or is it 60 feet? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but we just know if someone moves the runner, then the person behind us is going to pick us up and get it done for us. And I think having that trust in one another and just being able to trust each other is the main thing. And you'll see it on the field the second one of us gets out, we turn around and say, you pick us up, you got it. So it's just having each other's backs. It's been like that all year, really. And just seeing Tybee and Sophie work so hard in the circle, we have to have their back as well. Well, I think right there we, you know, in situations like that, a couple of things go through my mind is one, uh, Tybee had given us everything she could and I didn't want to put her, leave her too long. Uh, sometimes, you know, you can overcoach, but you can also undercoach and uh, leave them out too, too long. She had done everything that we needed her to do. She kept us right in that ball game. We needed a ground ball and for us, that's going to Sophie Mooney if we can get it. And uh, talk about a play defensively, Hannah Forehand made is just, that's that's senior leadership right there. That That was a big, big play in that ball game. Olivia, I'll ask this one you. Being the only really true senior on the team, what were your words? Obviously, Wicker's been here before too, but what were your words to the rest of your team? Like being really the true senior, uh, how are you leading them through this, you know, this battle? I mean, I don't 
think it's anything that I'm saying. I think everybody's saying something to each other. Um, I don't think it's one person that's saying we have to do this now or we'll just make one statement and we build off of it. So if I say something, Wick will pick, r pick right up from where I left off and chime in. Like the whole team's a leader and the whole team steps in. And that's what I think makes this team so special. Justin. Let me start with um, Coach Davenport. Uh, in that first inning, one thing I'm just curious for your perspective on in general as much as the game, two challenges by Great Valley, both uphill, that momentum, th th does that affect the momentum for you guys? Because I know replay is not something that's necessarily everyday thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I'm, I was 0 for 2 yesterday early in the ball game as well, and um, I kind of felt her pain in that situation. Um, fortunately for us, uh, we were able to get both those calls, you know, in our favor. And, um, yeah, it does. Because, it, it, I mean, you, you know, I, I would have challenged both of those plays as well, especially early in the ball game when obviously one play was at the plate, the other one I think was at first base. And, you know, you, you don't want – you feel the momentum and you just want to get the call right. But when you use them and they're gone, you, you just – kind of feel empty handed for the next four innings uh, or five innings until we get to the six and where the umpires can kind of step in and use their own discretion there. But um, yeah, it's, it, it's, but it, but I'm glad we have it. Um, I'm hoping we implement it a little bit more in division two. It just, but you have to have folks to run the cameras and things like that, which we understand. But um, at the end of all, you, you want the call right. And um, whether it goes our favor or the other way, you just, you want the call right. For both players um, in that first inning, two out hitting, whatever it is, you guys are really good at not playing into the momentum. You know, Grand Valley goes up and you guys respond right away. Um, to tell me about, and I like both of your perspectives if I could, just on how you do that as a, as a team because it seems like a lot of you can respond in those moments. I think, like Coach Davenport said, we've had the experience the past two years going to Denver and the years prior you have the nerves and this year, the difference is we embrace the nerves. And I think when something doesn't go our way, you look at the fans, what them cheering and the way it used to be, that would build the momentum to make you more nervous. And now it's, we love looking at it. And it kind of fuels our fire. And it, it's exciting. And that's just the difference. We embrace it. And it's, you can look across the whole team and see that we want to be in that position. And we want to make a difference. And we want to make the thing that we need to happen, happen. I think that we don't stand back whenever they do put runs up on us. Like Coach always says, win the inning. So I think that we focus on more of the present instead of like thinking ahead in the future, like, oh my gosh, they just scored two on us. Like, it's gonna, they're gonna be, um, have too many runs for us to even catch up. But we just need to stay in the present and win the inning. And then the last one for me, that fifth inning. What, what was the, for either or both of the players, especially, what, what was going right? What was looking for you guys? Because something sure seemed like it was looking in that fifth inning. Well, Tybee actually grabbed us in the circle and said, let's act like we're playing for a national championship. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we kind of, you saw the momentum shift. And that's, the, when, for a pitcher to be working as hard as she is to grab her team that way, that was awesome. And I think as a team, we said, she's right. What are we doing? And we changed our momentum a little bit. Well, I had been struggling with hitting all week, so I just looked at Sophie Mooney, who's doing awesome this whole tournament, and I was like, so what are you doing? <laughs> Can you show me your swing again? And she really helped me out a lot. So, and I, I have a question for you, Mariah. You hit a, another big home run for North Georgia, and I was at the game uh, about a month ago uh, for the Peach Belt Conference uh, Championship Game 1 where you hit a big home run in that game. How much of an added confidence boost does that give you, especially when you're hitting these big clutch plays in uh, postseason? Um, well, it really feels awesome, and just thinking that I just completed a job for my team, it just feels good. And I have um, one final question for Mike. Um, the, you can see the leadership on this team as Olivia was talking about earlier, you know, Tyvee coming out and saying, hey, let's look like we're playing out for a national championship. How much does that, um, I, guess, I wouldn't say affect the team, but how much of that leadership is, is much needed, especially for a team that is under 
um, you know, that makes deep postseason runs? I, I think it's important. Um, it's, it's the old high school football adage, get old and stay old if you can. And the last, with COVID, you know, happening, um, it, it kind of set us back a little bit. Uh, fortunately for us, we weathered through it. We kept winning ball games through it. And like I said, you know, two years ago, we, we graduated five very talented young ladies. Last year, um, we returned zero seniors, um, but they were still our upperclassmen. Liv being part of that junior class was, was very talented. And for us to get that postseason experience, and, um, you know, and like for this year, it's, you know, I don't, we don't name captains. It's just something I've never really done because. I want leadership from everybody, and I think they've embraced that. We get it from everybody, and that's what you need in team sports because there's going to be days that, you know, the pitchers may be struggling a little bit, our catchers got to pick them up. Our bats may be struggling a little bit, our pitchers got to pick us up. But, you know, so you, I think we, we lean on everybody, and that's, that takes the pressure off. When you're leaning on 24 players, that takes the pressure off one or two captains or whatever it may be, and, um, and myself included. It's, this is their team. Postseason, it's, it's, I just kind of kick back and watch them go after it and chase it. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.